Hello people, right, okay, we have a back and tricep session this evening, just after the first couple of days of the week, and what a stinker of a work day today. So literally, I need to let out a lot of aggression, so there might be some silence, some pent up aggression, which I'm gonna take out on back and triceps today. Yeah, hasn't been the best day in the world, so when I get into a late evening and I'm training, I just wanna smash it. So you're in for a bit of fun, it's gonna be a be a bit of grit. I don't even need pre-workout this evening. That's how bad a day it's been. But you have them, you move on, sell a beat. It's life. Right, so what we're doing this evening, as I've already mentioned, back and triceps. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be starting off with this long bar. So I'm going to be taking it out wide, so just past shoulder width. And we're going to be hitting some pull downs with that, okay? And we're going to be going, see, as heavy as possible. I'm looking for a minimum of eight repetitions, ideally 10. We'll see where we get to with that. Once we've done that, we're gonna strip that long bar off and we're gonna to go to the slightly shorter bar, okay? And we're gonna do wide tricep extensions. So really like those ones, but they're gonna be good. So that bar there, we'll be using that. And then what are you gonna be doing? We're gonna be going back to back, but this time we're gonna be coming in with the V handle, so we're gonna be working inside. So a closer grip, and we're going to then move on to some floor presses for triceps using dumbbells. Again, mir mimicking the close grip pull downs with a close grip floor press. And if you haven't seen those before, stay tuned. If you've watched my videos before, you've probably seen me do them because I enjoy them. But they're gonna be the first four exercises and we'll see how we get on from there. May well chuck in some uh, body weight pull-ups just to finish off the session for reps along with potentially another tricep exercise as well. But let's see how we get on. Let's get into this. Let's go. Okay, right, so set number one. Let's mean to go. We're gonna go 10 repetitions, just wider than shoulder width. As I said, after the day I've had, to be honest with you, motivational speeches, I need the Samaritans. Flipping well music. Get into this. Driving those elbows down. Okay, that was easy money. Just thought to myself, actually, to be honest with you, instead of going for that bar, all I'm gonna do is come out slightly wider. So that would be your standard triceps. So I'm gonna come out here to almost mimic that bar up there. So we're gonna go wider triceps. And I'm gonna do that as a superset with this. So I'm just gonna be changing the weight stack, going slightly heavier, heavier, heavier on triceps and we'll go from there. So let's change that up and let's get underway. If you haven't done the wider triceps, I definitely recommend them. Really, really good. And yeah, they certainly hit differently. If you want a tricep burn, it rivals that of your flipping quads and calves, believe me. Right, let's drop that. Let's go to there. Let's see where we're at. So we're just taking a wider grip. So it's exactly the same width as I've been doing for the laterals. You're gonna come down into here, try to keep the elbows tucked in, and literally try some extension from here. Actually a bit too light to be honest with you, even for a first set. But I don't want to stop, so I'm just gonna do two, three more, call that a warm up. Heavier now. Come on, heavier for laterals. That's the first time I'm training without pre workout for a while, but believe me, I don't need it. tricep extension on there this time. Again, going wide. As said, 
because we're working opposites, I need very little rest. Still got a couple more on that tricep. Let's go even heavier now on lats. Let's go. back towards the end. Okay, go even heavy on these triceps now. That's all I'm doing because I'm working opposites, just allowing me to go with very little rest. So we're just going back to triceps, back to triceps, which is all good. Maximum effort, little rest, means I'm in here for a short amount of time. And I can get back into the fridge, to be honest with you, because I'm starving. I haven't eaten since lunchtime. Hasn't been a lot of protein today, mainly carbs, not a lot of that. So I'm trying to literally keep my mind on just lifting. A bit of exact of energy. There's no excuses, we're just gonna hammer on with it. Right, let's go triceps again. So we're going wide again. There we go, it's better. And it feels silly heavy already on the first one. Nice, okay, good. Right, now we're going to swap this out. Stick that back on the wall. Then we're gonna to go to the V-handle. Okay, so we're gonna work on this V-handle now. Just gonna put that on there. You usually find you can lift a bit more on this, which is all good. So I'm not gonna mess around. We're already warmed up. So I'm gonna go probably to about my 80, 85% max straight from the first set. Then we're gonna couple these in, as I mentioned, with some dumbbell floor press. We're gonna start off with 22s, sorry, 20s, and see how we get on. Then we'll just progressively lift those up. So what we'll do, let's put you over here. You've been over that garage side for far too long. Let's get you over there, where's the seat? Okay, getting used to this, almost perfect. Right, let's go. So again, just trying to get a really decent stretch at the top. As I bring it down, driving the elbows down, and driving the elbows past the lats, yeah, or pinning those elbows back. So it's that, and you're squeezing shoulder blades. Some spider on the V. Right, let's go. Days. Damn, that bit straight on the first one. Right, just put you where you need to be, which from my point of view, it's probably around about there. So I'll see you back in a sec. Right, let's go. 
Right, so four presses, as I said, just going to begin with 20 kilos. <clears throat> on these floor presses, what you're trying to do, if you imagine I'm already on my back, which I will be in a second, try to keep the elbows tucked in. And as you push up, you literally want to bring it together slightly, but just so there's still tension in the lift. So from that position, just pushing up and get that stretch, so fully extend at the top. Okay, so if I move in, hopefully you can see, keep the elbows in and push. So you literally just tap in the bottom, so the back of your, your tricep or the back of your arm, upper arm should just touch the mat and push up. Nice, good. Okay, as you saw, I was able to get out a decent amount of reps on that. So, next set, we're just gonna jump up. So we'll go from 20 kilos up to those 22 and a half. Get into double figures on those. Then we even might see if we can rattle around with those 27 and a half or even 30 ones. But before we do that, we've got to get back to the V handles, and you guys are back over here. Right, let's get you in there. Actually, wait a minute. See if it's any better over here. Where are we? Okay, let's get you around there. Right, perfect. Let's go. Okay. Dropping that by one, so we'll go even heavier on that next set. Got more in me, so I'm gonna fanny about with lighter weights. All right, let's get in floor press position. So I'm gonna be planting myself about there. That's also ideal. We're gonna grab these 22 and a half now. Let's go. So again, if you do want to make this more difficult, you can just speed the rep up. So literally, as you'll see, I'll literally go down, pause on the triceps and push back up. If you want to do it, you can literally just do touch reps. So as soon as you get a small touch, back up. So it keeps tension in the lift completely, and it's a bugger. I'll show you. So again, we're getting in that same position, okay? It's the same position here. Tuck the elbows in, push up. But instead of giving it a little pause at the bottom, from there, we're just going to touch. Full extension at the top. Little touch at the bottom. As you'll see, the dumbbells come in slightly. God, Jesus Christ. This one's a murderer. Oh, God. Look at that. 
saying to myself, bugger going up to 27 and a half. We're just gonna smash the living daylights out of those 22s. That was enough. I think next set, it might just indent on my skull, which was quite close there. <laughs> right, we're gonna go V bar again. I think this is working into what my third set on this. So let's position you here this time. We need to get the angles. There's a seat, which means there's the bar. Let's go. Back feels in good shape already, which is all good. Happy days. Right, just remembered we've dropped as well. So heavier weight on this than the first two sets. Right. Pressure makes diamonds. Let's go. Good. Right, I'll put you right here. There we go. Should be good enough. Right, crack on with these. No rest for the wicked. That was good. Liking this. Do usually survive on pre workouts, but as I said, don't need to go into it too much. Just haven't had the best work day ever. Let's just put it that way. So I don't need pre workout. Certainly don't need any caffeine. Just need heavy ass weights. Let's go. So what I mean, it's like, talk about physical and mental health. Man, for me, this space is my own. From dealing with stress, to dealing with External outsiders, garage influences and crap. Oh, this is like my getaway. Oh. Getaway, spend half hour, 40 minutes, 45 minutes in here. Oh. No one disturbing you. Oh. Just you and some cast iron. Jesus, right, I've got two more sets of these. Batter myself. Then I've decided I am going to introduce two final exercises to this, just to be a glam for punishment. And those are going to be <coughs> pull-ups and dips. Yeah, so I'll make sure I get a lean, a decent lean back to hit the triceps on dips. It's all going to be about the pull-ups. And all we're going to do on those is, it's going to be a single set on both of those for finishers, for back and triceps. It's just going to be repping out. What do they call it in CrossFit? AMRAP. As many reps as possible. We'll do that. But before we even touch those pull-ups and dips, we've got final set on V-bar, final set on floor presses. So let's freaking get into this. Right, again, I'm gonna position you right here. Let's get you up there. We're gonna keep the weight exactly the same it was before, where we managed that 12. I don't wanna increase it. And honey, it's six sevens. This is the final set. My arms are hanging, but sorry. 
we are going for 10. Just as the music in the background turns off, to some ridiculous freaking Windows install on your phone. Right, let's go. Let's go, final set, come on. Come on. Now we're going to floor press the living daylights out of stuff. Then you're going to watch Barry in a lot of agony while he tries to kick out. No, you don't need to be there. That's crap. That's better. Right. Barry, while he tries to smash out some pull ups, body weight pull ups and body weight dips, that's not going to be pleasant. More pleasant for you than me. Let's just put it that way. I also stupidly because I'm not having pre-workout or instra insta workout. Left my water inside. So literally fucking hell. <sighs> Little dehydrated, to say the least. Right, as I said, this now is just gonna be guts and glory. So pull-ups. I want to get at least 10 body weight pull-ups out of this. We'll see how we get on. <sighs> Arms are hanging. Then we're going to go straight onto dips. And then that's all she wrote. Pretty quick workout. But as you saw, everything pretty much except for probably about a minute in real time. So what you're watching, I'm doing. So it just shows. You don't need to be in the gym for an hour and a half banging about on your phone to get shit done. All right, let's go. That was a 10 rep grind. Jesus Christ. Right, let's put you guys here. Hopefully, let's just have a quick look. Does that give you enough on dips? Certainly think it does. Right. Let me just get my breath back and final exercise of today. Might be able to see that. Well, you can also see a bloody massive spider as well. But excuse that. Anyone, arachnophobia doesn't want to be watching my garage gym videos. So, we're hitting back and triceps tonight, which is all good. Then tomorrow, we'll be back 
into chest and biceps, which is all good. From week on week, I might mix it up a little bit. So on Monday might be a chest and biceps, Tuesday, back and triceps, Wednesday, chest and biceps, Thursday, back and triceps, Friday, shoulders, all legs, all legs and shoulders with a weekend off. Or we'll just split those two over the three days with a rest day. So six out of seven days. Right, that's given me probably what I need, which is about two minutes rest of blabbering. Just thought I'd go through my current program. But yeah, it just helps get more frequency on back, chest, especially arms as well. Hopefully I'll see far better gains than just splitting out muscle group by muscle group. Right, here we go. Body weight, dips to finish. Let's go. So just leaning back on it a little bit. So if you think about it, it's in a way almost mimicking those floor presses in a little bit of a way. said this before but I've still got more in the tank <laughs> so I do this to myself stupid it I reckon I've still got more so give myself a little bit of a rest time so we're gonna crack back on with pull-ups we're gonna go for another five minimum body weight pull-ups then minimum of ten dips Let's get this done. Come on, five, five or more. guys there actually you don't want to see dips from behind just freaking awkward <laughs> let's put you there let's get this on minimum 10 and we're calling this a night but this has been a rapid back and tricep session but back feels good triceps feel mullered and even got a little bit of a Bicep and chest pump on from the different exercises, bringing them in. Hey, added extra. Right, let's go. people that is all she wrote bloody good session enjoyed that far better than my day but just proves if you're having a shit day get down to the gym get into your garage gym fucking just get anywhere go and exercise in a park somewhere on your own take a bit of me time thoughts in your own space without other people manipulating or giving you opinions around you and always remember, make sure everything's a strong lift. There's always one more rep. Get it done. And last but not least, iron makes men and women. Okay, there's at least six or seven percent of you subscribe to my channel. But like, subscribe, comment, look out, put on notifications, everything else, so you don't miss a video. So also go back and have a look at the other videos as well. Just see how I've been progressing since 
kicking this journal off in mid to late January. But other than that, as I always say, if you're training this evening, leave nothing on the bench. Rep, 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 rep. And if you're gonna take an hour out of your important life, make sure it's not a half measure. Do listen, but don't listen to the haters, unless they've got a point. Catch you on the next one.